Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a tutorial about adding asterisks to the required fields in your Divi contact form. So by default, if you have a field that's required, the name or email or whatever it is, um, you would expect a normal form to have an asterisk there to indicate that. Um, but in Divi, there is no such feature, so I'm going to show you how to add those. So as usual, you can hop on over here to the written blog post. The link will be in the description and YouTube will need uh, the code snippets that are on this blog post. All right, so the first step, really simple, is we're going to be adding a CSS class. And the class that we are adding is right here. It is PA contact form asterisk, okay? So copy that, what you see highlighted there, you can copy that and you can also see it here in the screenshot. We're going to be going in here and adding it like this. So I'll go ahead and go to a demo site. All right, so here I have a contact form. I'll just open up the settings, go over to the advanced tab right here, CSS, ID, and classes. And I already have it in here, but right here you could paste this class PA contact form asterisks. All right, perfect. So now that form is going to be linked with the code that we're going to be adding in the next step here. So let's go down here to our next step and we're going to paste this jQuery code right here into our website. Now there's a few places you could put this. If you had a child theme, you could put it in there or you could put it in your uh, right in the theme options in the integration tab. For this tutorial, I'm just going to add a code uh, module on the page. So I'll copy it here and then go over to my website and click here and say code like this. So it's a code module. Oops, there we go. Code module. So I'll just paste and, and you can see here what, what the code is doing. But basically it's saying we're targeting this class that we've added. That way this code knows where to look for it on your site and knows to look now in this module. It's going to look for a data required attribute of, of required and then it's going to find the placeholder within that field and in that placeholder text it's going to add the asterisk symbol. <laughs> All right, so again, it's finding the, the, the placeholder like name and let me just show you like that in the field options here, required, like this is the, the important setting. Like if this is off, it looks for, hey, I don't find a required um, attribute. So it doesn't add it. But if it sees that this is on for this field, then it will add a place, uh, an asterisk to the placeholder of name, which is the, the placeholder text, okay? I'll just save those changes and exit the builder. And I, on purpose, did one field here that's not required, this one right here. And you can see name, email, and message have the asterisk now, and the other ones do not. So that's just uh, a little thing I did to show you. It's This one's optional. It doesn't have, you know, if I was to click on this, you can see that the ones that it's telling me to do are the ones with the asterisk, the ones that are required, right? Then that's it. So that, that's the tutorial. Now, if you want to do this the easy way, if you already are a member of our Divi Adventure Club, and if you already have the Divi Contact Form Helper, just go install the plugin. Okay, so I've installed the plugin, activated it. I'm going to refresh my page here, and you'll see that I have a double asterisk now. That's because um, we want to remove what we did, because if you're using the plug, you got to use one method or the other is, is the point there. All right, so I'll just go in here and I'll actually go to wireframe mode and this code module, I'm just, I'm just gonna delete it. Okay, I don't need that because I'm using the contact form helper plugin. So if I open up the settings now and I go into, let's say that name field again, all right? Let's go in here. You can see, where is it? Field options, under field options is where it was. Required field, see that? Now we have this new setting among, you know, 81 other settings, but, um, <laughs> the show asterisk on front end option is enabled. It's, it's that simple. Um, so required field and then show asterisk. And you could choose for some reason not to show it for certain fields because it's all independent. Like each field has its own setting. See that? Let's see if I turn it off for this one, but still keep it required <laughs> just to show you. There you can see that it's showing the asterisk on name. 
not on email, but on message it is. But now if I do this, it's still saying, hey, I also need the email address. So it would make sense to always show the asterisk. All right. So again, that was with the, the plugin, really simple way. Or if you don't have it, um, ask yourself why you don't, and then go ahead and use the tutorial method. All right, there you go. As always, we like to uh, solve little issues with Divi, little things that are missing with code snippets. So we hope you've enjoyed that. If you like this kind of thing, subscribe. We do this every single week. So by now we have hundreds of them because we've been doing it for years. So if you like this kind of tutorial, you know exactly what you'll get as a subscriber. And that's it. We'll hope to uh, see you all in the next video.